Yeah. 
That your delight shall not be taken. Nobody could take your joy away. Express your joy. Let's celebrate the Lord. Put your hands together and celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate him for the work he has done for the church. The church, the body of Christ, to the glory of the Lord. Hey, Today we have not seen anything yet. Great things are coming from our way. Celebrate the Lord. Hallelujah. Welcome in each and every one of you to the house of the Lord. This is Trinity Temple, superintended by the senior pastor, Reverend Dr. Silvanus Elam. Amen. The next move is to hear song ministration. But I want you to understand one thing. The word of God comes to instruct us. It comes also for us to gain understanding. We are not slaves. But we are servants and people that God is made joy, so joyful about. Royal priesthood. Amen. So as the song comes, liberate your mind. Is there any suppressing you? Is there any load? Liberate it. Say, Lord, I know you have taken, you have done it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. On this note, shall we welcome Trinity alive. Yeah, from there, the word of God will come in his power.
nataba nasi ochaye mu debiarata momane mose mano ine wanyadi kasi bayo amayelo yeri kasi momane mose 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 wanyadi kasi ya for yourself. A better clap also for yourself. And a last clap for being here. And a last clap for being here. Amen oh. Amen. We are here for a purpose. And be part of this purpose. See, I am part of this purpose. And I will continue to be part of this purpose. Because heaven will record my name. Trinity Temple will record my name. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Our sermon is coming. And mainly as you have been hearing from the past three weeks, harvest, harvest, harvest. And this harvest is unto who? It's unto the Lord. We come out of our heart. So on this note, shall we receive my bedroom mate, my own Mrs. Florence Labby. I put a hand for her. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Last year by this time, right after the harvest lunch, those who remember, I fear, I fear to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this is March. This is March. I just remembered. It was in March that Auntie Koro visited. When we, when we came here, little did we know that the time was going to come that all of us would put things not to come out. So indeed, say Amen. So we thank God. That the same one who keeps us has brought us here again so, I mean, now to we'll see pray. another year. Because at the time that Koro was coming and people were going to go, God knew you will be here today. Amen. As for him, he knew you. I My senior pastor, Reverend Dr. Silvanus A. 
<laughs> Let me reserve that one. <laughs> Hello. And my own sister, my first lady, I salute you. My high priest, the high priest of my home, I salute you. Amen. Amen. And all of you here, the board is this morning. And I want to thank you for another opportunity to offer me to speak, to offer me another opportunity to allow you to be blessed, encourage you to be blessed. Amen. Amen. Eto me hu ebwe meniwa ama me hu makwai suye wasebe minda wasebe minda erasiye se wasa. Yes, your word is true. Your word is like honey. It's even sweeter than honey. Your word opens our eyes. Your word is like a lamp unto our feet. Your word shows us the way. Your word goes through, breaks through darkness. Your word liberates us. It sets the oppressed free. We thank you, O oh Lord, for this opportunity to receive your word. Father, help us imbibe your word. Open our hearts to receive your word. Open our ears to hear your word. We thank you that you have done it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We are reading the book Haggai. I think I have your number. Chapter 1, verse 2 to 8. The book of Haggai, chapter 1, verse 2 to 8. And I speak to you on the theme, get your value system right. Get your value system right. Then you take a second to breathe. And then you say, it is now time to build the Lord's house. So if I say, get your value system right, then you will respond, it is now time to build the Lord's house. So that day in, day out, you will be reminded of the task ahead. So your response is, it is now time to build the Lord's house. So I would say, get your value system right, and then you will respond, it is now time to build the Lord's house. Get your value system right. It is now time to build the Lord's house. Get your value system right. It is now time to build the Lord's house. Get your value system right. It is now time to build the Lord's house. So let's go into the word. And into the end show Haggai 1, verse 2 to 8. This is what the Lord Almighty says. These people say, the time has not yet come for the house, the Lord's house, to be built. Then the word of the Lord came through the prophet Haggai. 
Is it a time for you yourselves to be living in your paneled houses while this house remains in the room? Now this is what the Lord Almighty says. Give careful thought to your ways. You have planted much. What do you have every? But have, you have harvested little. Now the kitu have been a mucha. You eat, mudidi, but never have enough. Now so mummy, you drink, monum, but never have your fill. Now so mummy, mother, you put on clothes, mufrantema, but are not warm. Now so mummy, yes, you earn wages. Only to put them in a purse with holes in it. This is what the Lord Almighty says. Give careful thought to your way. Go up into the mountains and bring down timber and build the house so that I May take pleasure in it and me, be me so that I may take pleasure in it so and be added, says the Lord. So that I will take pleasure in it and be added. Our life today is full of different levels of pressure. There are demands from every corner of life requiring the last drop of our blood. Family, friends, job, church, social groups like uh, those of you who belong to your old school groups. They all demand something from us. But the sad thing is that we are running out of energy and time. We are running out of energy and time. All too soon, life journey. And what was once vibrant, beautiful, vivacious is abandoned to the soil and everybody walks away and chebia and near my you know who are fn you be jaw as a cs and nipa nante so mankind you you mankind yourself young casa you nipa no you are once beautiful yeah fair full of life and energy and then some time to come people will walk away from you because you will be dumped into the soil then the question will be what have I left behind? The issue here is not the number of things we have to address. Or a lack of planning skills. But rather, knowing our personal values in life. What is truly important to you as an individual? Since you have very, very limited time. You have very little time on this earth. So what is truly important to you? Our, our value system is what underlies our actions and our decisions. How we use our resources. Time, money, energy, talents. The way you use these things is based on what you deem important or what is important to you as a person. Because I can demand something from you. But if you don't see it as important, you will decide not to give it to me. You can just tell me you don't have it when you have it. Question again is, what is truly important to you? Is it your spouse? Your children? Your job? Your mother? Father? Or your money? What do you value most on this earth? Is it life? And is it the life? Is it the eternal one? Or the one that is everyone? 
Is it houses? Is this money? Is it cars? Is it vehicles? And car? So as I ask the question, you think truly. Yeah, so we have come to be truthful to ourselves. Yeah, truthful to yourself. Yeah, what yeah. do I think is the most important to me? From the energy that God dispenses to you daily, what activity draws the first one? God has given you energy. Yeah. Every morning, yeah. you wake up, you try to set thoughts, then you dispense the energy into you. When you know you fresh energy, you open your eyes. What is your first activity or to what do you give your first level of energy? And then now what is our first a day activity. Now we'll be funny folk. No, I started WhatsApp. Someone shall have a panel of funny phone. Is it your phone and your WhatsApp? Your emails? Is it your radio? And I said radio and we'll see us. My sister, you need to connect to the source that gave you the life and the energy. So if your value system has not been set right, and it is there, and you may want to think thinking about how to set it right. Don't forget, set your value system right. Was it near a year one of you forgotten? I was expecting your answer. Get your value system right. Get your value system right. It is not time to build the Lord's house. So therefore, there is no shred of doubt that we as God's people will claim that we value God and God's work. We value God and God's work. Right? So with this foundation, when we go to our text, in the book of Haggai, 25 centuries ago, a voice was heard in Jerusalem, challenging men and women who had wrong priorities, a people whose value systems were warped, were crooked. And this was the prophet, the voice of the prophet Haggai. God had told him to tell the people what had to be done first. He challenged the people to readjust their values. And that was putting God's house for the symbol of his presence before their action. That is in action and in deed. In action and in words. These were a people who were taking captive in 586 BC. And then by some design, by Divine orchestration, the king called Cyrus came. Now, and then in 538, he decreed that all Israelites, the captives, should go back into their country to build the lost house. So there was an assignment. They were to go to build the lost house. But when they got to Jerusalem, focus shifted. Focus shifted. And then these were people, these people who claimed they were for the Lord and they loved the Lord. I believe they were saying so. That was why, okay, King Cyrus said, so who are the people here of Israel who belong to the Lord Almighty, who were troubled that the Lord's house was in ruins? Who were they? They all came. Go to your country and build the house. Why should God send Haggai to ask them this question? Please give me verse 4. Is it a time for you yourselves to be living in your paneled houses? 
Whilst the house of the Lord remains in Rio, so we all decided to put up the house of the Lord. But when we got to the spot, everybody had their own agenda. So as we sit here, we have one agenda. Yes, you have to live. But as a people of God, we also have another assignment of ensuring that the house of the Lord will not lie in ruin. Everybody who steps in the house, a place that you call the Lord's house or your Lord's house, should give it the necessary respect, the befitting respect. You can make your houses beautiful, more beautiful than the house of God. Then we have misplaced priorities. Yes, I know that today the Lord does not dwell in buildings made with you. And His presence is everywhere. But there is still the need to have a place where we can all assemble and draw other people to come and worship in a central location. If you have been hit by trouble before, you will know how important it is to have brethren that you can run to in time of crisis. Do you know that when we, when we go to independence, uh, conference center, we don't have service. People come looking for us. What is it? I don't fear for conference center. Looking for a place to worship, to have fellowship with their God. So imagine there is no place like that. So if we have been brought together and given an opportunity to put up another place in this country where people around here, far and near, can come and call upon the Lord, then it's a great opportunity that we do not have to talk We do not have to talk with at all. Because we were also once in exile. Spiritual, spiritual exile. And God brought us out. Set us free. Unlock our chains. Some of our chains were tied. Some of us we had chains on our side. Chains on our hands. Chains on our neck. So we were walking about freely on earth, but we were bound. Bound by a lot of things. But this gracious God called you out and set you free and told you to also set others free so that you will have opportunity to worship. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The harmless call is in Isaiah 45, verse 9. He says, woe to those who quarrel with their maker. Those who are nothing but potsherds among the potsherds on the ground. Does the clay say to the potter, what are you making? So imagine you buy a chicken for Christmas. Or is it and you want to do like so. Then when you are about to slaughter the chicken, the chicken wants to tell you, to, today I will die. Today I will die. I will let you kill me. So ridiculous. You are Coco. What strength do you have? What strength do you have? And you are in my house. I bought you with a price and brought you into my home for life. That is your value. So you cannot, you cannot say you will die. In fact, when you go into the life, then you have fulfilled your destiny. Amen. Amen.
Or you go to pick eggs. Let's say you have a layer. And then, no, you have a chicken layer. And they are laying. Then when you go to pick the eggs, ask the farmer. The hen will say, eh, Master, why? Leave that egg there. They are mine. Is it possible? Can you even phantom? Can you even think about it? But that is what we do to our maker. The creator who holds your life, your life like he is holding it down. When he squeezes it like this, you are gone. He will not even come and do by force and pick anything from you. And you will not see him out of what I have. Bless you. Just show me respect. Just give me a little of it. So that together, all people who call upon me, you, who have a place to fellowship, then my name will be honored. And when you travel to other countries and see there are no churches, nothing there, they don't worship God. You don't see any sign of God. That is where you understand when God says, I want to be honored. And you go to another place where you see the buildings there and that they are empty. But we want to have buildings that will have people who have been called by his name, who understand their calling and know what they are about. Who born dog? <laughs> Somebody said it. And you know. You are the creator's property. Except you are not born again, then I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. But I'm talking to those whose hearts have been renewed. And so it's a reminder that if you're also here and your heart has not been renewed, you haven't confessed your sins and given your life to Christ, then you are not born again. After service, see any of the passes. And then give opportunity for those of us who have forgotten about our calling to realign, to realign our thoughts and readjust our ways and know that somebody owns us. And stop living in this world as if we own ourselves. As if everything and what you have is by your strength. Yes, you have a good job because you have a certificate. Yes, you had a certificate because you studied well. Yes, because you went to the good school. Because you woke up at night and studied yourself. Excuse me. Somebody gave you that life. It is just sheer grace. It is just sheer grace that has been given by somebody. There is an owner. There is an honor. Let's not forget there is an honor. And let's not let's stop playing tricks with the owner. Let's stop playing the tricks with the owner. Because the owner knows what he has blessed you with. And he knows what he expects of you to give whenever it is demanded by yourself. So do not be smart. You shoot yourself in the foot. You, you shoot your own self when you try to play trick. As, 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 let me use the same, let me say the, the, use the same example. So sometimes when you buy the chicken, especially the poultry one, they cannot also run. So when you are going to catch them, you run and go and hide under a certain no, thinking that you can't get. It. You just stretch your hand. All the eggs. This mother hen said, "No, I won't let you touch my eggs." And then the the the, the hen. Or the layer no, is trying can't to can't cover the eggs. A, 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 How ridiculous! How ridiculous! How is it, woman? Hallelujah! Amen. When we do not heed, like the book of Isaiah said, he said, "Woe, the woe, the 
woe to those who quarrel with their maker. That the same woe has been expatiated for us in Haggai. Verse 6. The woe is there. He says, when you plant, you harvest little. When you plant, tell me which farmer knows how the maize in the ground comes out. All they do is to put the maize in the ground. Who goes, who follows the maize seedling into the ground? Who ever follows the maize? To go and see what is happening. And shake it or break it or do something so that leaves will come out. You put a seed there and then leaves come out. Stop and then leaves. Is it not wonderful? Are, are you not scared that, that there is a wonderful creator somewhere? Are you not marveled? So you want to play tricks with this guy? Locus. Locusts can, can also come. As they can, can come up all right. Can, can but but locusts can come and chew them all. You will work, work, work. Small money. You sell, sell, sell. Even your capital is dwindling. Let us be careful. Did we know that Ashikoro will visit us? Did we know? And we know what this corona has done to some people. But by grace, we are here. So there, there was one owner, see, you will not see you, the owner of one of the biggest banks in America. He had all the money in this world. But when Corona attacked, his daughter said it was something that he didn't have a price that eluded him, that he didn't get. It was air. He didn't get, he didn't just air. Was no here from a crab. And it was that that took him to the ground. But he had buildings, he had cars, he had money. You eat and you don't have enough. Your resources are never enough. So when we started working, I remember myself and my brother. I said, brother, just got Valco. You all know those days, Valco. Valco bread. With all the goodies. Then they said they have very, uh, uh, before you know, they said they've won points. So they've given them fridge. They've given them sound system. All those. And, and his money was about four times mine. Me, I was a teacher. No, An honorable one, of course. Yes. But my brother will always come to me borrowing. No, I have still had two children. So I didn't understand what was wrong with him. No, your money is more. They give you lunch at work. Me, they don't give me lunch. And once a while, they give you things. Still, you are suffering. Are you always chasing me. But I have no problem. You know why? Because God's hand was on my money. But for him, we were just dilly dallying with his Christianity. So I can say that God's hand was not on his money. And I have always been telling him, even if he was here, I would say the same thing. So you can be earning so much. But if God's hand is not on you, so that you don't obey his principles, then you can't have enough. Hallelujah. Amen. So sicknesses can even come and take off what you have. So Exodus 23, 25, he says, Worship the Lord our God and his blessings will be on your food and water. So when you eat small, when you even eat a uh, abom, abom the the accounts no the kuyapu is in terawa meko. In terawa meko, now we do kobi kakra itchim, and then small oil. Ah, now when ya afasiye, anase apim onyaba. Look for contemporary. Oh, you see how you be from, from, from. 
And it's cheaper than the fried rice and the hamburger and the pizza. Hallelujah. Amen. But then those who have their money say they are buying their pizza. Let them buy. But I will save a it a bomb so that I can bring some of my money to the Lord. The two of you, who will be prosperous? Tell me. Who will be prosperous? Who will live long? So you yourself, the devil has charted a path for you and you are following it by eating the big, big, such and such things. Once a while, the show will be in your shape. But be wise. You put on clothes, but you are not warm. It's the same principles. Hey, do you remember Deuteronomy 29.5? He says, just the Lord says, during the 40 years that I led you through the wilderness, your clothes did not wear out, nor did your son dance on your feet. Ah, what proof do you need again? He has done it before. 40 years, same dress. 40 years, same shoe. So at that time when you were wearing size 2, or size 3 because you were a baby, now, 40 years time, you are wearing size 40. It's the same shoe. Hey, clap for him, clap for him, clap for this baby. And so if he is telling you that it is possible for you to be eating, and or for you to be cooking on clothes, and you won't get warmed, fear him. Fear him. And then you obey him. So that the few clothes I have, he will make them pay. Little resources. Clothes is just a symbol. But whatever you do, the Lord will bless it. He says, you earn wages and put them in holes. Pairs with holes. Calamities. Calamities. And some unforeseen things you did not think about. All of a sudden. I visited a friend. Somewhere. When I got there, the person was in pain. About a month ago. So I asked the wife, why are you, why are you not taking the person to hospital? She said she was confused. She said, okay, let's take let's the person to hospital because the person was dying. Then we ended up in 37. Week after week. This is, the money was going like this. Boom. 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 10,000. They're gone. Another 10,000 gone. Another 10. I said, hey, what is this? How do I know? Because I'm the one you will be sending. Tell my workers to give me this money. Tell my workers to send me. The money is finished. So. They said we should do this test. They said we should buy this. They said said three times surgery. Just like that. Somebody who was just strong. So we need to pray for God to take out some of these things. They, they don't happen to you because God averts them. But because God averted them, you don't see them. And you don't know what he's been doing for you. You don't know. Brethren, there's a lot he's doing for us. But from last, even from last year to this day, you are still standing strong. You are still sitting here. You are still sitting here. Is it not marvelous? It is not by the power of the Lord. Let's clap for him again. He says, but remember the Lord your God who gives you the ability to produce wealth. Ability to produce wealth. Riches is different from wealth. You will be rich and rich and rich and become wealthy. Think about two people. One gives 50 CDs to buy something. It doesn't take change. Somebody gives 50 pesos. And he's chasing the chain. The driver is holding the driver's dress. Strangling the, no, the mates. Strangling the mates for the change. What is the difference? What is the difference between the two people? This other person has more. 50 cities is not their problem. But the other one, 50 persons. Hey, one Jesus and I, it's not that he's wicked though. 
But if it's possible for somebody to have 50 and give without change, why should you belong to the other one? So if there's a way of getting here, why don't you follow us here? Principles. Simple principles. Simple principles. It is no magic. Just be obedient. Just be obedient. I remember when we were paying on tabletop. These people see why sometimes their money delays. Then there was a time, 500, 500 delayed. It became 1,005 months, 1,005. When you give somebody their money, the person is not able to come. Count down, then he's confused. They count down, no one here or not village. They ask for the village, some of them, they say when they get the money, they don't know what to do so. Because they, they don't see big money like that. For them, 1,005. No, this one I went to meet. She counted down and said, Madam, I'm tired. Count it for me. <laughs> Count it for me. Her hands were shaking like that. 1,005. You see? So in, in that person's world, the 1,005, it, he has landed like a jackpot. But God can do more than that for you. Hey, God can do more than that. And it is God who blesses us. Oh. It is God who blesses us. Oh. Okay. It is no magic. Let's learn. Let's learn. So verse 7 said, this is what the law says. Give careful thought to your ways. Give careful thought to your ways. Let us consider, reconsider our ways. From today, let us consider what we do. Let us ask ourselves, what do I give my resources to? Two first, and who is important? Who is the most important person in my life? Yeah, and what do I use my resources for? Verse 8 says, go up to the mountains. Go up to the mountains. Bring down timber. And build the house. Bring down timber. You don't want pampuro. No plywood. No wawa. Timba, the good one, Mahogany. Timba, Odum. Uh -huh. Odum, Dahuma. Strong. Bring down. Bring them down. Get your value system right. You have forgotten. Just this morning, though. Just this morning. You're ready. Hey. Now, two days, the council. Please, don't let us forget. Get your value system right. It's now time to build your lost house. Get your value system right. It is now time to build the lost And on house. that note, I declare the 2021 harvest Amen. duly loud. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The target is 500 thousand Ghana cities. Half a million Ghana cities. What is your portion in this? May I invite all my committee members? Committee. All of you, please join me. What is your portion in the big money there? It is just a figure. But God expects you to deliver your portion, to, to honor your portion. Please write 500,000 big and put it on the screen. Put it on the screen. 500,000. And be looking at it. Just be looking at the money. And ask yourself, what is so small? Make it big. One big. Increase the font. And do arrows on it. Arrow, 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 arrow is going. So I can see Mama Sarah is standing here. I can see Mama Felicia. I can see Mama Drew, Auntie Grace, Brasenaya. Everybody's name yes, is written inside this amount. Everybody here. Please, let's be obedient. 
Everybody has a portion. No one should take themselves out. And I am talking from the experience I've had in this chair that some people take themselves out. They decide not to give. Yours is there. What is the purpose? We well, said it the other day. day. So, Omalu, please bring the envelopes. My time is running out. And then he had that for the better than a dinner. Yet, you must have please you pray over it. And it's a hand for now, Moshe. Cladding to cover it. Ah. You are part too. Are you not? Or is Frema? Frema, are you f for the last? Um, Frema, are you here? Electricals, plastering, plumbing, ceiling, labor. One glass of cement is 42 cities, isn't it? And the bag is cement is 42 cities. So one bag, you can't even buy one bag. And you want to mean to cement the bag for the whole year. As the students, you are part of, oh. you are part because you. they give you chop money. Monty so when they give you chop money. Sarah so will tell me, mommy, the money you give me, divide it and give me half. <laughs> and take the rest to the plane. So for contribute. This is wisdom. Because I can give it to you to take. But it's still my money. I keep telling them, if you ask me for money to go and then give offering, I will get the blessing back. Because the source, God knows the source. It was my money. It's not your money. But your own money is when I have given you, let's say, 200 cities for the week. And you know you have to buy maybe food, 30 cities or 20 cities, and you decide to buy 10 or 15 or 12 and keep the eight. Keep the eight. Or one day, you have been drinking mineral. Every day after your meal, you decide, oh, this, today I don't drink mineral. That one you tell me you don't drink milk. What do you all do? Maybe you bought kinky. You bought kinky. Buy fish, five cities. That day you can say, I'll buy only two cities fish. Or even if one read Nam Kura Nai Day. Me, I can eat kinky without fish. Just one day. Mm. Or in the whole week, one meal, one meal, I forgo my chicken and I forgo my fish. And then I save, 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 and bring. God no. is looking at that no. effort. No. That no. effort. No. That this is out no. of. No. It was. No. It is out of respect for me. That my daughter or my son is doing it. Let me bless my son. Let no. me bless my daughter. We all do it wrongly. So we don't see the blessings. No. So a pastor will pray. The high priest who pray over the envelopes. Because if we were going to sacrifice, he is the one who carry the sheep on our behalf and then do those uh, 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 rights. So he will bless the envelope, signifying that his authority is on the envelope. And then we we'll take it. Then being, today being the lunch, you and are paying yada something for out of what you pledge for the year. In your heart, you pledge for the year in your heart. You take something out. And then you put now it as a seed. As seed. For the whole year. For the, whole year. the bigger ones who come during the year. Ah, till October. Now what you have to do for the year. Amen. Amen. We give the glory to Jesus and tell of his love, his wonderful love. We give the glory to Jesus. Amen. What a wonderful message. Something is happening in my heart. And I know what the Lord wants to do this year and next year. There's so much grace being poured into this church. Hallelujah. Amen. Next year, I'll be retiring. 
This year and next year, take much grace from this church before I leave. Otherwise, I'll take my grace away. So make sure I leave my grace, my blessings upon you. And the Lord is saying, this is one of the ways. When you read further down what Mama preached on, and you go to verse 13. It says, Then Haggai, the messenger of the Lord, spoke to the people with the Lord's message. And what is the Lord's message? I am with you. For you committing to do the house of the Lord I am with you. And when you go further, verse 14, it says, And the Spirit of the Lord stirred up Zerubbabel, son of Sheatel, governor of Judah, and the Spirit of Joshua, the son of Jehozadak, the high priest, and the spirit of all the people. May the Lord stir your spirit today. Because the Lord is with you. May the Lord stir your spirit. Wherever you go, the spirit of the Lord will be stirring you. The wisdom of the Lord will be with you. The grace of the Lord will be upon you. So that you can continue doing the Lord's work. And he says, And they came and worked on the house of the Lord, the host, their God. May that be our story. The people say, The Lord is with them. And the Lord has stirred them. The Lord has moved them. The Lord is causing them to move in a certain way. And the Lord is with us. Shall we rise up as we pray? Grace, 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 grace to excel, grace to deliver, yes, grace to move things, grace to receive the divinity's gift, Grace to receive that which you need. Grace to excel. Grace, grace, grace. Grace to be the best. Grace to be the number one. Grace, 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 grace. Abundance of grace. Grace, 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 grace. Grace, grace we release. Grace we release as never before. As never before. Even as the tax is bigger, the grace is bigger. The grace is bigger for the tax. The level of the tax bring that level of grace. And the Lord is releasing, releasing that level of grace for everybody who is there this morning to do something for the house of the Lord. Receive much grace. More than before. Father, you have been our help in times past. You have been our help in the years past. You have been our help in the harvest of the years past. You have been our help in building all these buildings, in doing your work. You have been our help. You have been our help. You have been our help. Today we call upon you, O Lord. We call upon heaven, O Lord. We call upon you, O Lord, to be our hope for today. To be our hope for this year's harvest. To be our hope in the years to come. Yes, Lord. You're not a God that you lie. You say, your presence is with us. And you are going to stir up our hearts. I pray, when you stir up our hearts, we will not resist you. And to be a testimony. It to be a testimony. It to be a testimony. In the last two years of building the house of the Lord. When we want to complete and dedicate this house next year. It to be said in those two years. Oh, the Lord did a new thing. Yes, the Lord opened the heavens. The Lord opened the heavens. And the Lord poured and I obeyed. Father, I bless these envelopes. I ask, may your grace fill these envelopes. As we touch these envelopes, we are touching your grace. We are touching your praise. We are touching your grace. 
Anybody who is stirred in the spirit to give this money and to give throughout the year and the coming years until this building is completely, completely completed. Oh Lord, may grace flow. Grace flow in their businesses. Grace flow in their marriages. Revive their marriages. Revive their hopes. Revive everything about them and restore unto them your fortune. We thank you, Lord. Holy Spirit, go ahead of us. Go with us. Be with us. The canker worms, the caterpillar worms, the locusts, they will not touch that which the Lord will commit to you. As you obey, they will not touch it. If they dare, they will be exposed. If they dare, the Lord will deal with them. Because that which the Lord is going to give to you for his way, the Lord will jealously look at it. The Lord will jealously protect it. That you'll be blessed. So this morning, in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, we once again declare 2021 annual harvest once again, duly launch in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, ushers can help so that we grow faster. Trinity Alive, prepare to give us a song. And then we bring our offering. Hallelujah. If I just send your mama, I'm five hundred and he's not about the end. Jerry, you know, number one, Cassawa Kumum, or be so. I feel my number seven, which you are once the mayor ready. Pesemitia tens the mayor ready. And see, and no be a banner we in the Bobona. What's 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 say? Be a mamma, you may hundred million. Mamma, you may a ten thousand. Mamma, you may twenty thousand. And no, a bin a woo in the name. And see, a free nail called a debia, and you'll be your piano. Now with the Abba, now with the Tesso, until we come among them to do a witch here, men, yami. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Many <laughs> Yes, I did you. Jesus, I did you. I did you. I did me I did you. I When you miss a woman, so this I did know a casa treme. Nan so got fred, namitin yo. Nya me come in and in a gem. O soon ya break up or train ya tea tea. So the normal offering is what we are giving as the launch. But this time, pad it. Many of you are. Yeah, and you normal offering view. And the two no back here tight. Envelope a basket no back here tight. Please, we are taking only the envelopes for now. So quickly get the envelope and then put it in. And they are coming around for the envelopes. Amen. Always clear. 
So we are coming, they are coming around, the ushers are coming around for the envelopes. So you put after before we come to consider the offering. Yeah. So that is it. Only the envelopes. You are yeah, taking yeah, the yeah. envelopes for now. So whatever you have planned to put in the envelopes, put it, they will come around for the envelopes. Please continue. Hallelujah. Yeah. In your Jesus, where did Jesus, where you know, I feel your heart be more. Oh, yeah, me, why did you? Yes, where you know, I feel your heart be Amen. Bible says to some, you force them from violence. You push them out, bring them out. So when it gets to times like this, we encourage each and every one. Give to build the house of the Lord. Amen. So I believe you have all given our envelopes meant for the building. The envelopes, only the white envelopes. After this, before we take the main offering and then the tithe. Good. On this note, shall we invite our own Deacon Eric to pray over this, over the, the envelopes? Deacon Eric, please pray over the envelopes for us. Shall we pray? Father, we give you thanks for your word of encouragement. We give you time for the Holy Spirit that has stared out yes. as to give towards your work. Father, oh Lord, we pray by the power of the Holy Spirit, we are giving towards your work. Yes. And we have committed to see to the completion of this work. Yes, Lord. Father, we pray yes. that all the hands that has given yes. faithfully yes. towards this work. Father, cause them to know that indeed the word that has spoken today is true and yes. is of you, yes. O Lord. Yes. Bless them beyond measure. Yes. Bless their family. Bless yes. their generation. Amen. For them to know that yes. giving towards the work of God yes. is the first command that has been yes. given unto us Lord before Jesus. any other things. Mm. Father, we'll give you all the glory. Yes. We'll give you all the honor yes. that Lord Almighty God, you have even stirred up to give and even more Father, Lord Almighty God, we pray at this moment that all the brethren that are not here, 
Father, Lord Almighty, go by your power and the unshame. Yes. Minister unto yes. them. Yes. And let yes. them come and give bountifully yes. towards your way. Yes. Not only for the church members here. All the Christians all over the world. Yes. God Almighty God, yes. send the Holy Spirit yes. up to them to touch their heart. That Lord Almighty, together, yes. will bring this to fruition yes. to the glory of your name. In Jesus' name, I pray. Thanksgiving. Amen. 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 God bless you. God bless you so, so much. God bless you. Amen. I think the choir, choir is not ready. If the choir is not ready, please give us a song this time to take our main offering and then the tithe. If you are not giving it out. Sorry. Sorry. While they come, during the year, how we are going to give is the same. When you get something and you write at the back, you can even put it on the normal offering bowl and write harvest at the end, harvest redemption. And uh, we can still stop putting the bowl we've been putting at the back there. We'll be bringing it. Those who want to give specific amounts to, you are also not restrained. Any form of giving, we are ready with it. According as the Spirit leads. Thank you. Amen. Oh, yeah. 